Digital tools are putting detailed information about New Jersey's biodiversity and land use in the hands of the public. The Landscape Project is a geographic information system developed by the Division of Fish and Wildlife. Science and Technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. The science, the data, the software, and the training for the Landscape Project all come from the Endangered and Non-Game Species yeah, Program. Yeah, Interactive maps of the nation's most densely populated state show patches of remaining habitat suitable for diverse animal species, including 70 classed as threatened or endangered. New Jersey really is um, blessed with a, a, a large number of species and habitat types because the fact that it run, runs from the coast, the Atlantic coast, to the Appalachian Mountains, and also because it's in an area that's sort of between a northern environment Environment and a southern environment. Dave Jenkins, acting director of the program, says mapping critical habitats can be useful to anyone interested in the interplay of conservation and development. County and municipal planners, environmental consultants, and residents. It's a highly focused application of technology called Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. GIS is really um expanded over the last couple of years and brought data uh, in the hands of local people through uh, New Jersey's IMAP application, the DEP's IMAP application. Uh, it's a free um, GIS use over the internet so you don't have to buy this expensive software. You can use it at home and it gives you a, dum a number of different data sets these maps incorporate layers of information, from aerial photography to land use and land cover classes to validated records of wildlife sightings. Our biotics database, which is the clearinghouse for all threatened, endangered, and non-game species in the state, um, we're constantly updating that. We get sightings from the public, from consultants, um, biologists within our program will go out and do surveys um, and we'll enter that data into our database. The top layer assigns values to specific patches or stretches of land ranked according to the conservation status of the species present. Considering how much information it holds, the system is relatively easy to use given a bit of training and practice. Patrick Regan, NJN News, New Brunswick.